hate it. I just want to keep all of them. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. Today I have a really exciting video for all of you and we have a lot of super puffs to talk about. I absolutely love my super puff shorty from last year so I wanted to make a follow-up video but this time as you can see behind me we have a lot more coats to try on and talk about. Without further ado let's get into it. the one that I've had now for just over a year and I still love it just as much as the day that I got it. I wore it pretty much all winter last winter and it keeps me nice and warm and cozy. I feel like it looks really nice as well. I really don't have anything bad to say about it and in terms of longevity I've had people ask me if the feathers have started coming out of the coat. This one it has not been a problem. I feel like it still looks and feels just as nice as it did when I first purchased it and I'm really impressed with that. I normally wear a size small at Aritzia and sometimes even in sweatpants I'll be a size medium as well but with the super puff I have sized down to an extra small in all of these except for the brown vest. My jacket from last year is an extra small. I really like the way that it fits and I have found that the super puffs do fit quite oversized. original super puff. This is the coat that started it all and I do like it. Don't get me wrong. This is a very comfortable warm jacket and it's more practical than the shorty but I just don't find that this style stands out too much to me because I think of the way that it fits and where it sits on me. It just seems like a pretty basic winter jacket. Because this one is the waterproof version, it looks like an Arteryx jacket. This puff detail doesn't have the stitching between it like you see on the regular coat. For instance, comparing these side by side, you can see that this jacket that is the non-waterproof version actually has stitching in between those puffs. And on this side, I'm assuming to keep it waterproof, it's just kind of like seam sealed in there. And because of that, it's not as pronounced. Whereas this, I feel like is a more fashionable looking puffer. I also hate that they made the cuffs black in this color. So I wish, I wish it wasn't so. I wish the, the zipper wasn't black. I just realized that the hood's not removable on this one. I don't know if it's on all the waterproof versions, but that is a good thing to note. It's very easy to take the hood off. There is just a zipper here so you can actually go ahead and unzip the entire hood off the jacket. And then there are just little uh, velcro pieces here in the hood that actually keep that attached. And luckily they made a little cover for it. It's like it was never there. the super puff mid and I really like it. I feel like this is a super practical length because it's long enough where it covers your butt, it's gonna keep you warm, but at the same time it doesn't have to be that like super super long outrageous length. I think this is a good compromise and because this jacket is actually under $300, it's like $298 or something, it still feels like it's affordable and it's going to keep you warm. And I think that it looks really nice too. I like the way that it looks when it is open and also when it's done up as well. I do prefer without the hood. I think that it looks really nice and a bit more stylish without it. Also having the hood off, if you're not a big fan of the new logo like I am, then you don't have it this way. It's just on the back of the hood. So you take it off, 
and it's just gone. I mean, there's still this little version at the side of your jacket, but that's not as big of a deal, I think, as having it on here. It's funny because some of them are like so subtle, like this one, and then the other jacket that I just had on, it was like black on a light taupe color. I think it's also worth mentioning with this mid jacket, you can unzip from the bottom as well. Of course, like with the other light jackets, they did manage to ruin it a little bit by incorporating the black cuffs and the black zipper as well. Who made that choice? Why did you make that choice? I wanted to do a direct comparison between my jacket from last year and the new versions. Thank you to Maxine, who's a subscriber, who suggested that I add this in the video. You can see they do look very similar in terms of the aesthetics of the coat. This is the new Super Puff logo and I hate it. I don't mean to be harsh and I think you all know that I love Aritzia, but I'm just trying to be real with you about this change. I'm not a huge fan of it. And it's just because this reminds me of like when you used to try and draw the Superman X. I feel like they are turning Super Puff into its own full line rather than just keeping it under the TNA umbrella. You can also see that inside the jacket where they've replaced the TNA logo with a very, very similar looking Super Puff logo. My jacket also says TNA in like big bold letters down the side, whereas this one does not have that. The graphics look a little bit different, but the writing is all the same. So they are keeping that same quality that they had in previous years. Super Puff. This out of all of the styles available is actually the one that I've probably thought about the most because it feels like it's very practical. If you're on the shorter side and you're looking at this jacket, I would just keep in mind that it might go down literally to your like calves or your ankles because this is how far it goes down on my legs. So that could be a really good thing or it could make you feel like this whole jacket is just swallowing you up. It's actually $350 too. So it's only $50 more than the last mid jacket that I had on. And you do get what seems like a good amount of extra fabric. This one, it does have the double zipper just like the previous one had. And you also have these snaps along the side. So again, you can kind of vent it if you need to. I'm getting hot in this coat. I need to, I need to undo it. This one, because it's so long, I feel like it actually is the first one to look a little strange without having a hood on. This is the one that I've been waiting for. I have a weird theory that this jacket, if I took the hood off, will kind of be reminiscent enough of like a leather jacket that it would look really nice in all sorts of different outfits, even if they were fancier, and obviously also keep you warm. The thing that I hadn't thought of though, with this finish, is the sound. It's very, uh, It's very crinkly. Oh well, I guess it couldn't be perfect, but I do like the way that it looks a lot. This is the Super Puff Shorty and this is in the liquid finish. So you can see it is very reflective. It kind of has a weird iridescence to it where when the light hits it, it looks like almost like a light gray shiny rather than this black, but I think that it looks awesome. And other than the like slightly weird sounds, it is quite comfortable to wear. I think this one would be great in the rain, of course, because this fabric, I feel like everything would just roll off of you. It does feel very warm. Like I feel like I'm overheating wearing this one and it's short and I don't even have it closed. So 
that's something to keep in mind. Obviously it's a winter jacket so you want to be warm but I'm guessing that just this material probably because it's less breathable that's why I feel this way. It does feel sweatier than the other ones. I feel instant relief upon taking it off. I'll add this to my little hood graveyard over here. Doesn't that just change the whole look of the jacket when you remove the hood? I feel like now it looks way cooler and this is definitely something I feel like you could wear with like a dress and tights and heels and it wouldn't look that out of place. actually in a size large. I do envision myself wearing this with baggy sweatpants and a baggy crew neck sweater or a baggy hoodie and I really wanted the armpits to be lower so that everything like fits underneath really nicely. I also wanted it to be quite long so if you want this to fit you know true to size get your regular size or even go a size down but if you want a more oversized look like what I do, then you can definitely size up in this one. This vest is also in the brown spicewood color and I think that it's beautiful. I am so tempted to keep this. I love this and especially without the hood on, this is like exactly the look that I was going for. It is on the more expensive side for a vest. So this is $198 and that is very close to the price of some of these jackets. So whereas I feel like the Super Puffs are a pretty affordable, good quality warm jacket that you can buy, this is like an expensive, really good quality, nice vest. It's so cute though. I feel like all of these jackets are a good investment if you have a few hundred dollars and you're looking for a nice jacket that is going to last you a number of years, keep you warm, and also have you looking nice at the same time. My personal favorites, they've gotta be the Super Puff Shorty, of course, the one that I'm wearing. And I think this mid jacket as well, I particularly loved. I feel like it's a really good length to keep you warm as well. You saw from before, I love this vest. I think that I want it in black. So these are the three that I want, right? You know, doesn't this look nice? This is a lot of super puff. As always, I hope that this video has been helpful on your search for the perfect winter jacket. And if you liked what you saw today, I hope that you'll consider subscribing to my channel. It is the best way that you can support what I'm doing and make sure that I keep making videos like this. I do post new videos every single Wednesday, so I hope I'll see you next week. Bye!